Greetings YouTube, Kunis here and let's continue our African power campaign. Where we last left off, we started punching Benin in the face. We're gonna keep doing just that. And it seems I outboat him? He has eight trade ships here. I have seven and also eight transports. I kinda like my transports though, I wouldn't really want to risk them, but would make the siege go by faster, so I'm probably gonna do that anyway. Economy is not doing so well, but it's mostly because we're reinforcing our armies, I think. Yeah, if we weren't reinforcing armies right now, we would have positive income. So having kicked the crap out of his army is what is uh, currently holding us back. But that's temporary. A truce with Kilwa has ended. We should prevent this from happening in the future. Because Kilwa needs to die. Um, he is also very eatable at this point. Compared to me and Tecto, I still am one tick behind, but I can probably drown him in Congolese men, because I have a lot of those. Um, let's re I'll maintain on Lundu for now. Oh, and this annexation is finally almost over. That's exciting, that'll give me like two more potential states, which I actually have room for. Congolese coast should totally be a state, why is it not a state? That's, that, that's a very good question. Is Congolese Coast a state? Oh no, it is a state. Okay, no, those are my states. My territories. There's Kasai, that's worth something, but for now it's irrelevant. Mm, I'm gonna wait until I see what my states can look like from Buganda before making any rash decisions in that general direction. Um, still no sign of the Benin army. It would reappear at some point, who knows. Um, I don't remember if I stack wiped it or just made it run away. Either way, it's like not approaching me anymore. The economy is good. How many loans do I have? Three loans? That's unfortunate. We need to catch up on those. Um, Buganda is almost annexed at last. Force limit 24 out of 33, which is great. Means we have room, but we are still mostly using our force limit. Uh, Mutapa has a friend in Mombasa. That's actually kind of scary. Because um, I wanted to kill Mombasa. Uh, we've renewed a loan, which is unfortunate. Uh, Benin shall become my vassal. Or something from Benin will become my vassal. Probably Oyo, actually. And then we'll feed Oyo a bunch of stuff. There's a Portuguese Guinea that's growing. Hey, Portugal. Oh, Portugal has no friends. What the hell happened to him? He has no friends. That'd be perfect for, like, a little war with him. But he's tech 8, which dwarfs even Killua. I still haven't caught up to that. Um... Gotta get closer this way if we want to uh, maybe spawn colonialism, because I think it's colonialism spawn yet. It still hasn't. Integration is a slow progress. Process. That word. We have two dudes. We're gonna come back here. And now what do the state situation look like? Uh, Uganda, Kasai, and Shaba would probably be our best three states. So that's Uganda, we're gonna totally state that. Where is Kasai? Uh, Kasai is right here. We're gonna state it and we're gonna full core it. Might as well, like I want to take up, I really want that second idea group. But uh, I want to run my country at full power. Shaba's at 4 out of 5, where is Shaba? Um, and what is the fifth one? Oh, wait, Shaba. Shaba? Shaba. Which means the fifth one is uncolonized. It's Bemba, which is this. But Shaba is still my fifth most lucrative state. Um, let's keep it open for now. I don't really want to fight the Beninese fleet. Oh, and Zazao's in this war. How much is Zazao worth in terms of war score? 46. I can vassalize Zazao and just feed it everything. If it borders Benin. So we're gonna go investigate. We are exploring the fog of war with great impunity. 
I'm also ahead of tech. Oh, hello, Zazao troops. Fancy meeting you here. I lost... I lost the light ship. He still hasn't lost any. Um... We both lost the light ship. Which is acceptable, I guess. Um... How big is Benin? He clearly ate a lot. Um... Yes. Which means this time it's my turn to eat a lot from Benin. And the interesting thing is that I can eat over here and it won't trigger a coalition. And Mutapa's the only... Well, there's no... I don't want to have a risk of coalition. But I can start eating here and it will not trigger coalition risks. And I ha it, it does border Zazao. I can go and vassalize Zazao right now. Unless someone else... Oh, Songhai is uh, fighting him. Okay, let's hopefully try to beat Songhai to uh, Zazao's capital. This is very important for us. I'm guessing this is Songhai. Um, let's get the boats back to safety. Uh, Songhai was over here. What is Songhai's war? I have no idea, because I don't even see Songhai. Um... So what will it be? Zazao, can I ask you to become my vassal? Sue for peace. Congolese vassal is a possible uh, option. Which will totally happen. Um, Sungai is just passing by. Which is actually kind of funny. Um, Benin's going to try to save himself, but I don't care. Um, oh, but wait, if I vassalize Zazao, I'll be at war with Songhai, and I don't know how bad that will go for me. Because we're talking about Stronghai here. Then again, I have 24 troops. It's not like I have a tiny amount of things. Uh, I'll let them fight it over, I don't care. Uh, as long as Soyo remains unaffected, I'm good. No corruption, which is good. Estates demand control of territories, the clergy and the nobility want stuff, I'll give them stuff over here. Uh, do I have some terrible provinces that I can give them? This is not a state, this this is worth a lot. Oh, Punyoro is worth a lot. Where is Uganda? Is Uganda only these two? No, N and Core. Okay, at least, at least. Okay. But we do have some things here. So who wants more? The clergy wants more. So I'll give this to the nobility. And this to the clergy. That fixes that problem. My estates are now happy. Except for the merchants, who are never happy. Um, I cannot extract anything useful out of these guys. Which is unfortunate. Birth of colonialism. This changes everything. Uh, which means I will want to start spending my points on spawning colonialism. Probably in... Mm, I wanted to say Mbata, but Mpanku. So, if I want to spawn it here. Golden Era for Portugal. Have fun with the Portugal. I control 4 out of 5 centers of trade. And the Renaissance has almost spread everywhere in my country. Uh, Bene and Zazao are trying to unite to form a bigger army to do something. Are you at war with Songhai? No, you're not. You refuse to call. Uh, you're still at war with Songhai. Um, let's say I vassalize you. Uh, it will not drag me to war because... It is my understanding... That uh, Song... That... The Zazao is not the main belligerent. Because he's also allied to Kano, so maybe Kano is the main belligerent. And Zazao is just a uh, casualty. Okay, I found Gobir. And once this is fully occupied, fairly certain that'll be the end of uh... Zazao. Hey, uh, Songhai, how about. Uh... You know, you just don't give a crap. Okay, nothing happens. I get a lot of money. Oh, I can't? Why not? 
Why won't you give me money? Fine, I don't need your stinking money. That's not true, I need your stinking money. I'll just come and stack wipe your troops. I'll keep standing on things. No, I won't be able to stack wipe them. Damn it! He ran away from me! He ran away from me! There's rebels over here. I don't want to unrebel things, but I do want to occupy more things. Oh, I'm being attacked? Don't mind if I stay here and be attacked. Let's see what happens. Hello, Zazao. Fancy meeting you here. Where's your army? Ooh, gone. Isn't it? Now, how do you feel about the money? There we go. Give me all your lunch money. Still not say I will be dragged to war. And it lied. It has lied. I have improved my prestige, however. Zazao has a lot of liberty desire. Um, but that's okay, we can fix that very easily. And now I'm at war with Strongai, which I don't want to be. Um, um, hmm. Then I'm gonna say this, but I might be able to extract land from Strongai. Who is. He's tech 6, he's the same as me. Which means I have to be scared of him up to a certain point. Because. He has infantry combat ability as a starting idea. And Giuliomi tradition. So his army will fight far better than mine. This is not even a question. This is a simple fact of life. Can I walk to his capital? Let's just walk to his capital with both of my stacks. Can I please Benin out at this point? Uh, yes, yes I can. I'll get all your coastline. Coalition of just Benin. That is so acceptable. Look at that! That's 55 over extension, which is a lot. And I can get all your lunch money while I'm at it. So, boom! There is now a Congo... Uh, a Congo-sized spot in here. Um, I will not core... or will I? I don't want to core any of this stuff. Um... The reason being that uh, I want to feed it all to Zazao. Actually, I say this, but that's not true. It's dangerous to feed a lot to Zazao. Um, especially if I want to feed him Songhai. No, I should probably actually just core all of this myself. Um, let's core what we can. Let's also uh, kick the unrest in all of our new acquisitions. There we go. Look at that. Stability! Nupe is super unhappy, but that's because there's Sunni in there. Of course Sunni will generate unhappiness. So how strong is Stronghai? He has 11,000 troops, that's his entire army. So I have double his army strength. That's actually a good thing. Means that Stronghai can be strongly conquered faster. Um, I'm running my colony still. Um, and I do think I need to spawn uh, colonialism. But I don't know how. Is Portugal gonna... Is Portugal having it? Uh, he does not currently have it embraced. So colonialism will take forever to get to me. Which is, you know, how it usually happens with these things. Uh, I have enough money to repay a loan, but I can't. I have a lot of inflation, because that's what I do. I can raise free war taxes, which I will totally do. Which should help with the economy somewhat. Does one of my generals have a siege pip? They both do. So good, the one with 3 shock will just go do something else. Because I don't need this many troops on that fort. Of course I got slammed by a disease outbreak, but uh, more reason not to uh, just die in attrition in here. Um, my goal is to break the regional power that is Tonghai to make him weak high. Uh, that's a good hair. 
We got an air. We got an air. Yeah. No twin illegitimacy garbage. And even if he dies, the queen is good. Oh, she's 71 though. So we may be stuck with a no attack regency council. Uh, where's the war goal? Take Gobir. I can go liberate Gobir, but that's risky because his army is kind of scary. Um, can't core anything else. Okay, let's go liberate Gobir. Get ourselves some war score. Is that a good province to defend him? No, it's not. Um, I'll just liberate Gobir for war score and then run away. And then reunite my armies. Um, actually, he's respecting my armies. Local unrest, or local unrest but missionary strength in Pindinga. Am I converting that right now? Um, I can't, uh, I, there is no way I can convert that. Not right now. Therefore, we're just going to keep working on uh, Stronghai. He has war score, but uh, not much. Length of war is really not in his favor. Um, aren't I improving relations with Zazao? I should be. Now I am. Um, I should also royal marry him. Still can't core anything. <sighs> okay, Zazao, let us have royal marriage babies. Actually, that's not true. I will wait until my wife dies, because I expect her to die. And I'll get a new wife, hopefully far younger, and still quite as capable. That is what I will keep my royal marriage on Zazao for. Uh, why are you unhappy, Lundu? What happened? They force vassalized us and annex- Oh, annexed vassal, yes, okay. I did indeed annex vassals. That has been what I have been doing. Uh, oh, I want land of opportunity. Oh, do I want land of opportunity? Alright. I want to put an end to this war. I've taken his capital, he's now no longer willing to... Uh, be a pain. We're gonna go liberate uh, Zazao's capital. And I don't know how far north he goes. Oh, I think he ate Timbuktu from what I can see in his size. Um, yes, that seems to be very likely. Oh, he's built a lot more troops. Okay. Pretty sure he's going to try to liberate his capital, which means I can go and fight him with these two armies once the time comes. He has a nice little 12 stack, soon to be 13 stack. How many troops are there in there? 520, it's not enough. Not enough men to uh, hold the fort right now. But it's okay, 24 versus 14 is highly in my favor. Oh, he ran away. He knows what's good for him. Uh, national unrest, gain autonomy, or gain national unrest, and autonomy lowers faster. We can't afford to let them opt out, because right now, we have a lot of unrest in a lot of places. Oh crap, mostly separatists? Where, where, oh, in Zazao? Oh, Zaz Z wait, 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 Zazao exists over here? That's, uh... Interesting. That's also kind of scary. Hmm. Oh, that also means that Zazao is bigger than what I thought he was. And it also means that Strong Guy has Zazao cores and claims. How about you return the Zazao core? And then. Let's see what I can eat from you. I can just afford to eat these two provinces. Or I could just properly break him. I can properly break him. Who am I kidding? It's not even going to be difficult. Let's properly break Stronghai. 
I can't go over there. I mean, do I wish I could? Um, oh, I should be unpaused. It would help with my troops moving faster. Um, let's get the two stack over here. I have oleo separatists that are about to raise up. These guys will enforce their demands and there's literally nothing I can do about it. Um, oh, our manpower is doing pretty good, actually. I'm impressed. I honestly thought it would have melted from what we're doing right now. Okay, I'm guessing Mossy came out of here. Um, hmm. Hey, Portugal. Portugal, what do you think you're doing? Still has no friends. If he gets in claim range, I'm gonna get a claim on Portugal, and I'm gonna attack him for his African holdings. And then I will take all of his African holdings that I can, because he won't be able to contest my army size. And he won't be able to have a say against the claim I'll have. Um... Ombori. I want to beat him in the fourth race, but... Uh, if not, it's going to be a pain. Can I just attach a siege and come over here? Let's do that. And maybe force him out of there? Um, I now control Homebody. Don't get it, don't get it, don't get it, don't get it. He didn't get it, yes! Okay, now we fight. And you will go back here after. Okay, we are fighting Stronghai. He is kicking my ass. Even though I outnumber him 3 to 2 because he's friggin' Stronghai. He has more discipline, he has infantry compatibility, we're totally renewing war taxes. That was really disappointing. How's his manpower? Uh, he has 4,000 manpower. That also means that I probably don't want to fight this guy anymore. Uh, I can't get anything else, I don't think. I'll take what I can get and run away with it. To the bank. Okay. There we go. And now... Um, we will gift territories to Zazao. Grant Province Adair. Grant Province Kebi. Grant Province Mycoring Nipe. Actually, yes, I'm coring all of these. So, alright. That is the extent of my gifts to you for now, Zazao. We have Oyo Separatists that are about to. Oh, that's a lot of Oyo Separatists. So we should prepare for them, and then we're going to go look at Kilwa. Because we need to kill Wa. Ha ha ha. Ooh, I want that. Before it is too late. Now we have unbalanced research. But that is okay. I definitely want religious ideas. As my second idea. Because uh, I need the conversion strength, especially if I'm making a fetishist run. We're going to go for Hoarder. Our queen has died. This is exactly what we expected. Oh, we didn't get a queen for this marriage. That's disappointing. What the hell, Zazao? Lindu? No, we already have royal ties. Um, that is disappointing. It also means that when we die, we'll be slammed with, like, a giant Regency Council if you can't attack people. Okay, that's the 12 stack, that's the 9 stack. Let's have the 9 stack reunite. Treasurer has died. Uh, yearly prestige. I don't really care about that right now. Uh, the economy can be made to do better if we weren't uh, reinforcing all these guys. Also, fort maintenance. Um, do I want to keep the Benin fort? I think I want to keep the Benin fort. Um, okay. I don't know what I'm going to do about colonialism. I think I'm going to try to make my own colonial nation. Somehow. And to spawn it this way. That will probably be my best bet. Regretfully, we've lost conquest against Benin. Hello, Benin. It seems you're fighting Ashanti. Strong Eye does not actually care that we ate the crap out of Benin. 
Hey, Kano, who are you like to? You're like strong guy. That's interesting. It's a way to go back to fight Strong High again, but uh, probably don't want to do that right this second. Uh, core. I can core. I can core, therefore I will core. That's unfortunate. Uh, oh, we still have our core. Hey, I don't have a truce with them. What do you mean I don't have a Cassius Belly? Of course I have a Cassius Belly. So Zao still has his uh, core here. What the hell, game? Maybe it needed a month. There we go. Take your cores back. That's what you get for declaring independence. You fools. Uh, unfortunately, this crap is all Sunni. Do you have missionary strength? No ideas. You have a diplomat. Whoop de freaking do. We've taken out a giant loan. We'll repay one of them. I can totally mod ball this fort. Which will help the economy somewhat. And, um. Okay, Mossy is a done deal for going back where he belongs. And I've discovered an extra province, which is great. Uh, how close am I to finishing this stupid island? Ooh, very close actually. Actually, very close. Okay, this has fallen. Hmm, we got all your separate. Oh, idea. Yes. Yes! Chance of new hair plus 50%. That's gonna be useful if we keep losing our hairs to random garbage. Um, we are a tribal kingdom. I believe I could change that to tribal despotism, which would give me core creation cost minus 10%. This is actually something I probably should have done a long time ago. Because stab costs and income from vassals, kinda useless. I mean, sure, it's nice to have a few extra monies from my two vassals here, but they're both really weak. Oh crap, Kilwa's getting eaten. Kilwa's getting killwad. Um, I'm still bleeding money. So mostly through reinforcements? I think so. I'm also starting to bleed manpower. How can I make the Oyo Separatists less scary? I wish I knew. Hmm. But it was still a nice conquest spree. Oh look, Portugal has decided to take uh, Costa do Ouro. That's uh, kind of cute, Portugal. If one of us take Guida, he's gonna fabricate claims on your ass so hard. And then I will contest your African holdings as long as you have no friends. Like right now, you have no friends. Look at that. You're alone, you're isolated. No one seems to like you. It'd be a perfect time to jump on you. How's your force limit? Portugal has 11,000 troops. I could totally destroy Portugal if I was to war him. And you know what? I think I want to war him. I think I really want to war Portugal. Okay, this has fallen, so um, let's just transfer all of it to Zazao and uh, be done with this. Mossi, return to your rightful place inside Zazao and give me all your money. Neat. And growing vassal. So how close is this colony being done now? Close, but uh, still not enough. Um, also these guys should probably be uh, not too far from one another. Ah, what am I doing? Okay, where do we stand on the rebels? Ketu and Oyo and I'm sitting on it. So the other place that's going to spawn a lot of player people is Ketu. That is fine by me, we're going to core everything and now everything is in coring process. Um, what is left of Kilwa is uh, not much. Come on, Oyo Separatists, just spawn already. In Congolese peasants, why is Soyo so unhappy? Autonomy decreased. Why did I decrease the autonomy here? What the hell? Or that was before I was overextended and war exhausted to this level. 
I think that's what happened. Oh, apparently you resumed the episode. So for now, I will thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time where we'll scheme an attack on Portugal, we'll hopefully kill some stupid rebels, and we'll go eat Kilwa. See you guys next time!